Um, on the US data front? Okay, well, just a heads up, really, um, as you mentioned, we've got the uh, non-farm payrolls on Friday, and I just wanted to flag to people that we've got the, the ADP, Dow Jones non-farm employment number for May today as well. Sometimes seen as a bit of a, of a guide to uh, what we can expect on Friday, though it's not uncommon to have, <laughs> to have a deviation uh, of, uh, of numbers between the private uh, sector number and the, and the state-sponsored one. So uh, keep an eye out for that. In terms of other data, we've got the uh, ISM non-manufacturing numbers for May, forecast of 57.2 against a prior read of 57.8, so slightly down as far as the Institute of Supply and Manufacturing numbers concerned. Um, market composite PMI for the US in May forecast is uh, for 57 against a prior read of 56.1. Just remember with these PMI numbers, um, a number about 50 is good, and so the, you know the further. This is uh, quite decent, really. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, most you know, lots of uh, of other Western economies would like to see a read of 57 mm. on their PMI number, and then then um, we've got uh, a couple of uh, items from the Fed. We've got the Beige Book, in which uh, the regional Federal Reserve banks take a turn uh, to to look at the economic conditions as they see them using so-called anecdotal evidence. Um, and then we also got uh, two f separate speeches by two separate Fed governors, um, Governors Evans and Bullard. They're speaking today at 2.15 and 4 p.m. Eastern time in the States, respectively, which is uh, quarter past seven and nine o'clock here in London. So um, quite, the Fed actually can't seem to keep quiet at the moment. They're, they're all, all out on the road talking, these governors. Um, Just talking and not doing anything on rates. It's very impressive. It's, uh, well, <laughs> keeping us all guessing. So that's something to look forward to uh, later this evening if you're uh, still looking at the markets then.